Thank you very much. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen, dear colleagues. I would first like to thank the organizers of this conference, and in particular, Minister Saar and uh, Mrs. Kozar from the Integration Foundation to have associated the European Commission to the organization of this event, and in particular, to have invited the members of the European Integration Network, representing the member states who are attending today this conference. The European Integration Network met yesterday in this same hotel to reflect about the role of values in the integration process. And I think that the topic of this conference is also closely linked to the interesting discussion we had yesterday in the context of the European Integration Network. Globalization and migration out of poverty are two important reasons why migration is a major trend shaping the 21st century. European societies are and will continue to become increasingly diverse. Our common challenge for the coming years will be to ensure that people who migrate to the EU in order to seek international protection, but also to study, work, or carry out research, can fully participate to all aspects of our society, be it cultural, social, or economic. Of further particular importance in this respect is that Europe is an aging continent, and migration from third countries has already started compensating for the declining working age population. Let's face it, already today, we have skill shortages in key sectors of the European economy. Now, what is the role of the European Union in the area of integration? To be very clear, and you will all agree, integration does not happen in the offices of commission officials in Brussels. And it is therefore right that member states are most responsible for integration. But the EU can have an important role in supporting them with funding and the organization of exchange of information, mutual support, and experience. And yesterday's event of the European Integration Network and today's conference are examples in this respect. Ladies and gentlemen, in June 2016, the European Commission adopted an action plan on the integration of third country nationals to reinforce its support to member states in that area. It contains more than 50 concrete actions to promote integration in five areas, pre-departure and pre-arrival measures, education, integration to the labor market, access to basic services such as housing and health, and last but not least, active participation and social inclusion. As regards the area integration to the labor market, we recently have launched several initiatives at European level. We did this in particular because actively contributing and being allowed to contribute to the political, cultural, and social life is at least as important as it is crucial to create a sense of belonging and of fully, uh, feeling fully anchored in the host society. Such integration measures into the labor market therefore contribute to the overall political objective to build cohesive societies based on shared fundamental values, such as the rule of law, democracy, respect for fundamental rights, such as freedom of speech and religions, rights to equality, and non-discrimination. Therefore, and this was in particularly stressed in yesterday's meeting of the European Integration Network, integration is a two-way process, which requires, on the one hand, welcoming and inclusive societies offering opportunities to third country nationals, 
But on the other hand, it requires newcomers to subscribe to and embrace these fundamental values. And let me say it in other words. Integration must be founded on sharing common European values, but also recognize cultural diversity. And it is therefore that the Commission is supporting projects promoting intercultural and interreligious dialogue, cultural diversity, European common values, and active participation of migrants in society through different EU funds. Ladies and gentlemen, tackling the challenges of migration is a multifaceted process. And it is clear that many actors have an essential role to play, not only public authorities at EU national and local level, but also employers, trade unions, chambers of commerce, and civil society organizations. Integration concerns our entire societies. And if we should fail to generate a successful integration, we risk that our societies will destabilize. And the populist movements, the populist results in election in several member states over the last month and years show how important it is that we make integration a success. A major objective of the European Commission is, that, is therefore to reinforce this cooperation between different actors on integration, in particular for the integration in the labor market with the EU partnership for integration that will be signed between the Commission on the Economic and Social Partners at EU level and through the European Integration Migration Forum, which is a large platform for discussions with NGOs on all migration-related issues. And the next meeting of the European Migration Forum will take place in March 2018 on the topic of integration in the labor market. Ladies and gentlemen, media also play an important role as regards the overall perception of migration in our countries. Raising awareness on the benefits of a successful integration for host societies is certainly crucial to change the perception of EU citizens on migration issues, and that will also help to fight populism. Last but not least, education has an important role to play in the integration process. Education needs to help young people understand the importance of and adhere to shared values. And therefore, the Commission is currently working on a proposal for a Council recommendation on promoting common values through education. Putting education and culture at the heart of our reflection on how to strengthen our shared European identity is the best way to keep the diversity and richness of our union. And let me finish. I would like to come back to the question of diversity, which will be at the heart of your discussion today and tomorrow. Diversity is sometimes seen as a threat. Diversity comes certainly with challenges. But, ladies and gentlemen, diversity is humanity's destiny. There is not going to be, even in the remotest places of this planet, a nation that will not see diversity in the future. And I refer to globalization in the beginning. That's where humanity is heading. And pretending that a society should be exclusively composed of people from one culture is portraying a future based on a past that never existed and therefore that future will never be. And that's why Europe will be diverse, like all other parts of the world will be diverse. The only question is, and that is a political challenge, how do we deal with that diversity? And my answer to that is, 
by ensuring that our values determine how we deal with diversity. Giving up our values to avoid or even refuse diversity can and should not be an option. And in this sense, ladies and gentlemen, I wish you fruitful discussions on these very interesting topics. Thank you very much. Thank you. I'm very honored to welcome you all to Estonia on behalf of Estonian government. Uh, it's a pleasure to welcome you here during Estonian Presidency of European Council and uh, we, as David already uh, uh, was uh, showing you uh, on the chocolate and on the pin and everywhere, we are already starting to celebrate the 100 years anniversary of, uh, of Estonia as well. So you're very welcome to join our festivities and thank you very much that you uh, came to the conference and you make the conference by sharing your ideas, uh, experience and your thoughts. But for sure, today integration is one of the priority topics in Europe and beyond. Our challenges may vary, but our aim is the same. We all want to create a cohesive society where individuals can actively participate in society by sharing common democratic values. As we know, culture is a remarkable vehicle that bridges individuals, communities and nationalities. In Estonia, many cultural and sport institutions which bring together people from different cultural backgrounds have been involved in the integration process. The most effective means to creating mutual understanding and increasing tolerance are interpersonal contacts. The best way to foster interpersonal contacts is via cultural and sport activities also in education and in cooperation with NGOs. Neither sports nor arts recognize the limits of citizenship, ethnicity or language. By encouraging various civil society groups to act together, their desire to communicate and to improve Estonian language skills is increased. In our experience, language learning through professional exchanges or in families is also effective when people trust and know each other. In Estonia, we are pleased that positive progress has been made on the level of personal contacts. On a societal level, this process takes more, more time and requires the joint contribution of both Estonian and different ethnic communities. Integration is a powerful means to giving a stronger voice to everyone strengthen cultural life and the society in general, and encourage actively thinking and talking about issues of importance to the society. The main challenge for Estonian integration policy is to foster intersectoral cooperation. Cooperation between the businesses and public sector and the non-profit sector in carrying out projects would further increase the sustainability and the impact of the efforts. The role of the state is to create favorable conditions for this cooperation to flourish. When fostering intersectoral cooperation to produce the best results, we should bring together and make use of the best practice of all counterparts. Knowledge of the public sector, the survival experience of the business sector and the energy of non-profit associations. I am confident that the ideas and best practices exchanged at this conference will be another step in making our common European society more cohesive, a better place to live for all. I wish you pleasant days in Tallinn, full of interesting exchange of information and networking, as well as fruitful cooperation in the future. Thank you very much. Dear guests, partners, dear friends, I am really glad, glad to welcome you uh, here in Tallinn. 
Integration is one of those topics in Estonian, and I think that not only in Estonian, that comes up times and again in our media and therefore instigate heated discussion in the society. As always, there are two sides of, uh, the, to these issues. One of which supports the ideas that we have been successful. For example, in Estonia, we have many success stories. I, I think that uh, we are more safe and integrated society than we was 20 years ago. But of course, we have the second opinion, which claims that nothing, nothing positive has happened in Estonia past, during the past 20 years. That government put only huge money in this process, but we don't have any success stories. It is clear that the discussion about integration is timeless and without an end, because society changed and integration related issues are changing with it. I would like to tell you one story. In Estonian folklore, we have a legend about an elderly man who lives nearby Tallinn in Lake Ülemiste. By the way, when you land in Tallinn airport, you fly over the Lake Ülemiste. According to the legend, the old man will drown Tallinn when the city is ready. Because of that, Tallinn will never be completed, and it is being built continuously till the end of times. I believe that in the field of integration, we don't have to be afraid being drowned. And similarly to Tallinn, it will never be completed. That means that good luck to all us in discussions and let's do that with dry feet. But I would like to end my short uh, speech today with one poem. This, is, uh, this poem uh, was written by one of my favorite Estonian poets, Hanta Runnel. I don't, doesn't have this uh, poem in uh, English. That means that English and uh, Russian speaking uh, people, uh, you, uh, I hope you will enjoy the sound of our beautiful language. <laughs> but the main message, this poem, is that if you would like to change something in the world, you have to start with yourself. And if you change, is changing something in yourself step by step, you can find one day that world around you is better and in changing process too. Hanta runnel, muuta ennast. Muuta ennast, muutub maailm. Mitte palju küll, kuid siiski sinu enda jagu. Kui on miljon suutjat, muutjat, lahkulöjat näiteks, nähtavaks saab kohe üpris võimas vagu. Jää sa ise endaks, jälle muutub miski. Muutuv maailm paigale jääb sinu enda jagu. Tekib hõredus, käib pauk ja jälle miskil kuskil mõraneb ja kuskil tekib pragu. Thank you. Hello and thank you for coming here and taking this uh, two days from Estonia and from the other countries of Europe. Also, thank you for these people who are listening us through the online uh, channels. When I was yesterday here in the hotel, then I was passing this room and I thought uh, with my colleague, wow, what a huge conference will be here tomorrow. And then I understood Mariana was coming and said we are preparing and then I understood this is our conference. For us, this is really important and it's not only about how it looks like, but uh, I'm very happy that this agenda, what we are going through, is very, very interesting. And uh, the people who have came here are very, very good specialists and uh, leaders in their area. 
I also want to thank um, EU Commission, uh, who was organizing yesterday's wonderful event and supporting also this conference. And I want to especially thank Matthias Oehl, who have inspired us these days. This, this have been wonderful discussions with you, and I um, wish you good luck with your work. And thank you very much. I also thank all these embassies who have helped to organize this event and this good cooperation what we have. Um, integration, it's, uh, it's not the easy topic. We feel it uh, every day. And I hope that with this uh, conference we can wide the discussion. And uh, I think it's, uh, we shouldn't also forget that uh, it's easy to talk with the people who are every day working in this field. But I wish that we also would always talk with the people who have different minds, that we are not ready to talk with them. Uh, I think the good news is that uh, integration is topic, but it's never finishing. And we have work uh, next week, next month, next year, and so on. So I wish you that with these two days, you will get good ideas how to solve the problems and challenges what we have in this field. I hope these two days will inspire you. The networking. I hope you will get also good contacts here. I'm really, really happy that uh, our colleagues from the Europe uh, stay here. And I hope you will have good changing the contacts to have future good cooperation. I think it is very important that with the integration, we always think about the partners who are maybe not every day dealing with our topic, but uh, who can add new values. Yesterday, sitting with the German uh, colleague, Marius, uh, he told me uh, how they make the integration projects together with the uh, national uh, German football team, and that they are one of the best partners who help them to integrate the society there. I think we should be always open to this kind of um, ideas and uh, projects. And finally, I would like to thank the, organizing, the organizers and Integration Foundation. I'm really, really proud of you that you have done such kind of uh, event for all of us. And I also want to thank David, who are bringing us through these two days. I wish you uh, much energy and power to do that. So, I hope you will enjoy it. I hope you will have good, inspiring discussions. Nice evening today and all good and best for you. Thank you. <laughs>